Assalamu alaikum and hello and welcome to Baby Step Med where I try and make difficult medical concepts a bit easier. So this is a video about the pituitary gland and let me get this out of the way. And um, I'm going to be explaining a little bit about the anatomy and then if and the development. If you want to skip ahead, you can go to the development. But um, let's get started. So basically, the pituitary gland, it is also known as the hypophysis cerebri because it is beneath, hypo means below the brain, so that's why it's called that. Um, it is the master endocrine gland, and its location is in the cella tertia of the sphenoid bone. And it is small and oval like this, and it is attached to the brain via the infundibulum, and it has two lobes it has an anterior lobe and it has a posterior lobe and the anterior lobe is also divided into two further parts the pars distalis and the pars intermedia so now this diagram it looks a bit scary but it's really it's just the relation of the pituitary gland to the other structures so just match the colors and then this will be easier to understand. So, pituitary gland. This is a pituitary gland, this big green yellow thingy. Anteriorly, there is this phenoid sinus. Posteriorly, in the black bits, there's the dorsum celli, there's the basilar artery, and there are the pons, okay? And then superiorly, there's the diaphragm celli. Um, inferiorly, there is the sphenoid body and sinuses. And laterally, there is the cavernous sinus and its contents. The blood supply of the pituitary gland are the superior and inferior hypophysial arteries. And the veins drain into the cavernous sinus. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the pituitary gland's development, the embryology. So it develops from two sources. Both of these sources, the Radke's pouch and the infundibulum, are just small ectodermal diverticulums. That just means a protrusion or an evagination of the ectoderm. So there's just like little swellings. Um, the Radke's pouch grows superiorly from the roof of the stomadium. Roof. So superiorly and roof. And the infundibulum grows inferiorly from the floor of the diencephalon. Okay. And about at the second month, the Radke's pouch comes into contact with this, the floor of the infundibulum, the floor of the diencephalon, basically the infundibulum. And now the Radke's pouch is now a vesicle that flattens itself around the anterior, so the anterior and lateral parts of the infundil, infundibulum. So does that make sense? It just grows and then it comes into contact with this. And it wraps itself around, it flattens itself around the infundibulum on the anterior and lateral parts. So now the vesicle, as you can see, it has um, the vesicle's anterior, posterior and upper parts form different things. And I'm just going to uh, tell you about them. The anterior wall forms the pars distalis. The posterior wall forms the pars intermedia. And the upper part forms the pars tuberalis, so basically a tube thingy, the little attachment thingy. And that is basically it for the development of the pituitary gland. If you want to download a picture of this, of this whole um, page, um, you can find a link in the description. I hope this helps. Uh, thank you for watching and if you have any requests or um, suggestions of how I can make this better, please let me know in the comments and let me know if this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye.